English is one of the core subjects offered here at Davenport High School. Spencer introduces us to casual writing versus professional writing and more with this simple chat. You could easily tell who the press were. They were the noobs who played their characters like staggering drunks. What, are you what am I reading? I'm reading a book. And this book is called uh, Little Brother. It's a very interesting book and I kind of like it quite a lot. Why do you like it? Why do I like it? I like this book because it conveys a bunch of messages, has wordplay, and it uses quite a lot of English. Why do you think English is important for the story? I think English is important for the story because there's a lot to learn from English. There's a lot of messages that can be hidden in between just maybe three sentences, two sentences, possibly even one sentence. Because there's a few texts out there that use one sentence and the meaning is a thousand times deeper than what it says on the surface. And there's uh, quite a few examples that you can actually use about this. And there's even examples of just regular word usage as well in English. Like let's say we use isn't. There's isn't and then there's is not. If we use isn't, that's something that would be used in what we would call a casual writing style. But if we're using something like is not, that would be something in a more professional style. Professional writing is better for the circumstances where you're having to deal with a college professor or possibly even your boss at your job. But a casual writing stance is more or less like writing to your grandma, trying to make a postcard, things that are just easy to read and fun to be around. But Another good example would be sentencing. Just like how in some texts, there are sentences that are five sentences long that are extremely hard to get the grasp of the theme or the topic that it's trying to convey to you. And then there's also sentences that are two sentences long and they're super, super easy to figure out. It only matters about how much the author is willing to give you in English and for you to understand how to write it down on paper. Because let's say I gave you a text and you decided to start writing an essay on it. How would you start it? Well, you'd start it with a topic sentence to draw your viewer in. Then you would also have your theme as well because how else are you going to set your essay if there's no theme to it? You can't just write an essay and there's just words there. You have to base it around something. So that introduction has to be set up for everything to be there. But now, I'm gonna get back to reading this book. 